Good morning, good morning. Uh, it is an absolutely beautiful morning. Look at this. It's chilly. It's absolutely chilly, but look at that. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh, the sun hasn't come up yet. So yeah, uh, we're off sailing. Um, not sailing as such. We're just moving Levin Point um, over to where she's going to be lifted out and brought across here to Portis Head. So the marina is just on the bottom of the hill there. So that's where she's going to be. So... Uh, so I was meant to be uh, sailing with a young gentleman um, this morning who's unfortunately come down with COVID. So <laughs> it's just me and my glamorous assistant, Earl Sky. So it's just the two of us off for a dawn sail. Well, I wish it was dawn by the time I got there, but it'd be nice to sail in dawn. But yeah, so uh, we're just going to move Levin Point and um, check on John Seagull because I believe she's all ready to go now, I'm told. So yeah, we'll see what it is. So we're, we're also busy with something else this weekend. Um, this weekend is the weekend closest to the uh, armistice uh, for World War I, which is typically regarded uh, by uh, the communities of, uh, that are, have been involved in that uh, as Remembrance Day. And <laughs> so that cut off uh, a little bit prematurely, yes. But what I was saying is for those of you who don't know, um, I spent a number of years in the South African army, um, uh, as did my brother, my father, uh, both my grandfathers uh, fought in the Second World War. Um, and uh, so this is something I do every year. So yes, we'll, uh, we'll do it in a separate video though. So today is really all about moving Levin Point. Absolutely beautiful day down here. Uh, this is uh, back down at Itchen Marine. Uh, I'm just going to go check on something quickly because, uh, yeah, Pav was promising me that the uh, that John Seagull will be ready today. Uh, do you see what I see? Are my eyes deceiving me? I think this is getting a little ridiculous. I think this is what happens when you pay for something in advance. There's no urgency for uh, things to get finished. So I think I'm going to have to have a little bit of a chat with Pav. Mm. Not happy. Anyway, but uh, it, admittedly, it does um, it does take the pressure off a little bit because uh, if John Seagull was ready to go, I'd be under pressure to um, to get her moved. Um, but at the moment, she's not ready to go. Um, but pissed off that uh, I've not been told. But uh, it uh, it does mean I've got a little bit of breathing space to get Levin Point moved, to get it lifted out of the water, get it moved over to Porter's Head, and. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> not cool, but cool in the same time. So, yes, uh, as expected, we have no masts up, uh, booms are still lying on the deck, nothing's changed, and uh, there is poor old John Seagull, still not ready to go. But c'est la vie, right? So at least I know, however, when I come in later on, the tide will be going out. It's spring tide today, so the tide will be going out pretty quickly. But um, at least I know that I can raft up against uh, John Seagull. Um, yeah, I think I'll raft up against John Seagull. I'll need to make sure that I've got access to the cleats and blah, blah, blah. Yep, all right then. So there we go. So what I want, there we go, is exactly what I've got, because I've essentially got both of them on the starboard on the port side and if I cast off I can just let the the line run away from me and uh, and motor away I freaking hate these things I'm not doing this again hey Scott. hey what's up girl <laughs> hey what are we doing hey hello Sky you want to go to land you had a good walk this morning that's for sure <laughs> all right hi Sky Right, here we are. So uh, uh, we're releasing in a sec, got the engine on, uh, and we're going to head off. Uh, the video quality might not be great at this point. Um, I stupidly left my normal camera uh, on the on John Seagull. Um, but me and young Sky, there she, there she is, <laughs> uh, we're going to slip in a sec and we're heading off. Uh, so yeah, so 11 point, uh, Wesley Berwick. Uh, 31 foot used to be a catch what well, still is kind of a catch at the moment but the mizzen's coming down we're changing it to a sloop with a bit of a uh, boomless rig um, so I've got a reel about that but uh, yeah that's what we're doing so if you've got if you're thinking about one of these um, 
uh, fore and aft moorings. So this one's got a mooring ball there, plus it's got a mooring ball at the back, so which means that obviously the boat doesn't swing. So if you're thinking about one of these in the future, top tip, right? Think really carefully about uh, what the boat's going to do, because we've got the tide going out. So obviously I can't slip the, the bow first, I have to slip the stern first and then play with the rudder. But the big thing is this, this, this line here, keep that on the boat for as long as you can, because uh, that managed to get in underneath my keel. Um, uh, at one point, you know, I sort of sat and waited and I was pushing with the boat hook and stuff whilst I was trying to get rid of it. So keep that on the boat for as long as you can. Did I say that I hate that? I freaking hate that. Because today, of all days, I can't afford to get that wrong. Um, the boat did exactly what I wanted it to, but it's not half nervous, I would say. You know, <laughs> I freaking hate it. So yeah, definitely not a fan of a trot mooring. Um, swing mooring. Um, absolutely no problem. Yeah. Trot mooring, can't stand it. But yeah, you know, I've had to dive the prop twice. Well, uh, dive, yeah, I've had to cut it free, dive once. Yeah, and then got stuck another time. Uh, first time with the kids, second time with three, with uh, with passengers. And uh, yeah, no, hate them. <laughs> it's a lovely day. It is really, it's chilly, it's chilly. I was, uh, I was expecting wall-to-wall uh, -wall sunshine for the whole day, but um, it's not lasted. Um, the uh, clouds have definitely come over. Tomorrow is going to be cold and slightly damp. Um, the London's going to be a bit of a damp squib, um, a bit miserable, but uh, nevertheless, it's a beautiful day. It'd be nice to stay out a little bit longer. I might do, actually, because it's two o'clock. Um, I only really need to be back in Southampton at uh, four. So I've got an option, either kind of get back and get rafted up against John Siegel and then uh, relax uh, and do some boat work and what have you. I'm a, I might do that actually. But it would be nice, it would be nice. I mean, you've still got beautiful blue skies over there. Yeah. It feels like today is all about me. I just want to be in the camera the whole time. Uh, anyway, we're uh, moored up. Uh, I've got my dock line, the green one. Goes across to the dock. Uh, and then uh, the um, my bow line goes to John Seagull Stern. Um, I've got uh, spring fore and aft, uh, and then I've just got a single uh, stern line for me going to John Seagull's bow. The reason I've got that set up and not a dock line as well is I don't have a dock line for that one. Um, but uh, also the outgoing tide here is a lot stronger than the incoming tide. The incoming tide is actually pretty gentle, and then it sort of has this double tide, and then it screams out, and so. I figured it'd be safer to have a, um, a dock line uh, on, the, on the bow side for me. Uh, but yeah, so all good. So we're all rafted up and uh, ready to go, lock the boat up and uh, all done and dusted. We'll be back on Monday. It's definitely got chillier. But anyway, I don't know if you can see that. There's a uh, cruise ship just there. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of something that I, I, I guess I had in my head from when I was a kid that uh, you know the places that cruise ships come to and where they leave from is always very glamorous and you got these pictures of streamers and you know fireworks almost going off when the, when the cruise ships depart you know if, uh, if you remember that movie that, that series in the 80s called Love Boat but anyway yeah that's what it was but anyway and uh, I was always kind of slightly disappointed here in the UK that none of the cruise ships actually left from anywhere nearly glamorous right it was always uh, every, all, all the places I've seen in the UK are pretty much really industrial docks uh, uh, Lisbon however is absolutely beautiful the, the, the week that we spent there and I went into, into town it's absolutely stunning the waterfront area is beautiful you know beautiful pay big flagstones wonderful uh, place you know and it's right on the edge of the city the, the, the main sort of commercial city but right in the heart of the of the old historic city and it's such a real shame that uh, when you come to the UK, you don't arrive at a place that's absolutely beautiful. You arrive at a place that's like a big, it's like an industrial harbour. Um, whereas uh, Lisbon has obviously made an effort to make sure that people arriving into Lisbon arrive into an absolutely beautiful uh, Portuguese city. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> worth visiting uh, Lisbon. I'm a big fan now. Um, but... Right. There we go. Gosh, it's an interesting view. So I'm back on the normal camera so I can uh, not be the center of attention all the time. So, um, yeah, it uh, looks a lot smaller. My first boat was 22 foot and then I went to 26 foot and then 31 foot. And I remember thinking, shit, the 26 footer is big. 
and then I went to the 31 footer this one uh, 11 points and I thought oh shit this is big and then uh, yeah and then we come to John's Eagle it's a totally different kettle of fish um, and she's big she's a big boat for a 42 footer she's actually pretty big she's super beamy she's super tall um, uh, I wonder what an Amel um, uh, would feel like it's like Delos's boat um, Delos <laughs> is the boat um, but yeah so here she is 11 point uh, next time we'll see you Monday morning and uh, being lifted out jet washed well first you have the, 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 the mast unstepped uh, lifted out jet washed loaded on a lorry and taken over to Portishead there we go so it's just dawned on me that um, this is the first time and probably the only time um, uh, in the foreseeable future that the two boats that uh, we have for sailing Sibongila stroke sailing with a weirder um, are actually side by side. Um, this is the first time that I've actually brought them um, side by side. Uh, even though that they, they've, they've actually both been relatively close to each other, the ones in Pool and the other ones on the Humble. Uh, this is the first time that they're side by side. Let's see if I can get a nice aerial picture. I don't know if that works. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The two boats. <laughs> I hope that worked. Let's see if it works this way. This is uh, doing the super selfie thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, not sure about that. Hey, Sky. Sky. <whistles> hey, <laughs> Southampton. Football stadium is just down there, and they're having uh, some kind of match. It's, they've obviously scored. <laughs> All hell broke loose a second ago. Uh, so I've just spoken to Pav, and um, uh, he has said that they're actually planning to start work on the uh, restepping the mast from uh, from tomorrow. So not tomorrow, sorry, Monday. So um, they're going to restep the mast. Um, the main mast on Monday, and then he wants to do some work on the mizzen, and that's going to get re-stepped on Thursday. So we'll see what it looks like by the end of the week. Um, we might be in a position by the end of the week to move the boats. We might not. Wait and see. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, it doesn't come naturally to me, in spite of what some people have said. But um, yeah. Uh, Share them, like, subscribe, um, come sailing with me. Um, most of all, you know, look after your happiness, look after the people around you. And uh, yeah. winter's coming. Yeah, it's going to be important that we look after ourselves. All right, <laughs> see you next. Uh, actually, I've got another video for you tomorrow, but uh, not sailing and something else. Anyway, uh, we will um, see you tomorrow.